Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn something about VOR navigation. In this video, I'll uh, teach you how to tune into a VOR and then travel to that VOR in case you're flying around an area and you've uh, kind of lost your way. So let's get into our cockpit here and uh, let's open up Navigraph charts. By the way, if you're into flight simulation and aviation, please make sure you leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of this content. Uh, so I've also dis I've disabled where we are at, so I'm not currently sure where I'm at, but I know that I took off from somewhere in Munsi, so I'm somewhere in this area, somewhere here. So I'll see, let's say, let's see if uh, we can find the Shelbyville VOR here. So the frequency for Shelbyville VOR is 116.15, and we have a Morse code here, which I think if I zoom out, I can see that. So three dots, four dots, one long, and then three dots. Uh, so let's tune in the frequency here first of all. So now f in order to track VOR you would have to be in the nav mode. So if it's in GPS you're going to only be able to track what's fed into your GPS. So the route that's fed into your GPS is what you'll be tracking here. But in order to track VOR you'll need to switch this to nav mode. Now uh, we are on 116.15. Looks like it's already tuned in. Yeah, 116.15. So now in order to make sure that you are tuned into the right VOR um, you can turn on the nav 1 sound here so that plays the VOR Morse code that we just saw here for Shelbyville VOR which is three dots four dots one long and then three dots which is exactly what was played let's listen to it again just to make sure okay so that verifies that we are correctly tuned into Shelbyville VOR. So this uh, indicator here will take us to that VOR. Now I'll turn the OBS knob until I get to a point where the arrow still, st uh, still says 2 and this line centers out. There you go. So that line has now centered out and the arrow still says 2. So that means uh, we need to fly a heading of, so that's 250, 260 and 265. So we need to fly a heading of 265 in order to go to that VOR. And we will be on a radial 085. So that's 0, that's, that's 030, 060 and then here we'll be on, on a radial of 085. Now as we are moving forward you're seeing that this line is shifting so we'll have to turn the OBS knob again to recenter it. So now we'll have to fly a heading of somewhere in the 260 to 262 so let's turn towards that heading here that's 24 that's 26 and 262 giving it a little more throttle We did overshoot a little bit but that's just the autopilot and this is the perfect weather actually to do some VOR flying since we don't have any ground references. Okay so now we are on the 080 radial and going towards the VOR. So that's what this is called. So we are on a 080 radial going towards the VOR. It's not exactly centered but yeah I would say we are maybe on like 082 radial or something like that but you get, you get the point. So the number opposite of this heading is is the radial that you're on and you're going towards the VOR. So if I open my Navigraph now and if I enable my airplane location, where would I be, right? So let's figure that out before we actually enable the location. So we are on uh, 082 radial. So that means this is 12012. 110, 100, and then this will be 090, and this will be 080. So we should be somewhere on this line here. So let's enable the location and check where we are at and see where we are at. Yep, that's where we are. We are exactly on this line, like I said, right? Now, if you have the distance from the VOR you could you could you could also tell how far you are on that line right so for example we are uh, here it shows the distance from that SHB VOR 
and we it also shows what radial you are on so it, we are on 090 radial which i said like close to somewhere close to like 080 i would say with the wind correction and stuff okay so we are on 090 radial and we are 20 miles 20 nautical miles away from that vor so that's how you figure out where you are in relation to a vor obviously you can also track another vor and kind of triangulate your position but this is just one simple way to do it if you have a if you have this uh, distance on your on your GPS equipment. So that will tell you exactly what radial you are on and also it will tell you um, what distance you are at from the from the VOR. So thank you all for watching just a short little lesson I will definitely come up with more on VOR navigation because this is just a very small part of VOR navigation there is also flying outbound from a VOR at a particular radial and stuff like that, that that you would have to know for your private pilot check ride. So I'll come in with more of that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.